Kelvin Planck statement of second law of thermodynamics. Before learning about Kelvin Planck statement, one should know what is a thermal energy reservoir, a heat engine and thermal efficiency. Thermal energy reservoir. Consider our atmosphere. The atmosphere does not heat up by the loss of heat from the residential building or the heat from the vehicle. Similar examples are large bodies of water like lakes, rivers, etc. All these are thermal energy reservoirs. A thermal energy reservoir is a large body of infinite heat capacity capable of supplying or absorbing large quantities of heat energy without changing its temperature. A thermal energy reservoir that supplies heat energy is called a source and one that absorbs the heat energy is called a sink. Example of source of heat energy is sun and example of sink is atmosphere. Heat engine. We know that the engine is a device that converts any form of energy to mechanical work or energy. A heat engine is a special device which can convert the heat energy to work by operating in a cycle. The heat engine receives heat energy from a source which is at high temperature such as oil furnace. A part of this heat energy is converted into work. The remaining part of the heat energy is rejected to a sink which is at a low temperature than the heat engine such as the atmosphere or river. A heat engine operating in a cycle produces work in a sustained manner. The heat engine consists of a fluid called working fluid. It is subjected to cyclic change of state. The working fluid absorbs and rejects heat with the thermal reservoirs. The perfect example of a heat engine is a steam power plant. The heat is received from an external combustion source. The working fluid is steam. Steam undergoes cyclic changes of state in order to absorb and reject heat. Here, the sink is the atmosphere. The working fluid takes the form of a gas and liquid when it passes through the cycle. Thermal efficiency. A term called thermal efficiency is used to refer the fraction of total heat energy converted into useful work. The thermal efficiency is equal to net work output by total heat input and it is denoted by eta. Eta is equal to work output by QH. Here the work done is a difference of heat absorbed from the source QH and heat rejected to the sink QL. So the work net output which is equal to QH minus QL that is eta is equal to 1 minus QL by QH. Kelvin Planck statement the second law states that it is impossible to construct an engine which operating in a cycle will produce no effect other than exchange of heat from a single reservoir and produce equal amount of work. It means that a heat engine must exchange heat with a source which is at high temperature as well as a sink which is at low temperature to continuously operate. In other words, the heat absorbed by a heat engine cannot be fully converted to work. Some part of the absorbed heat should be rejected. This means that no engine can have a thermal efficiency of 100%. An imaginary heat engine which absorbs heat from a reservoir and produces equivalent amount of work is called perpetual motion machine of second kind or PMM2. A PMM2 violates the second law, hence it is impossible to construct.